think I do feel I'm the beginning of my career when I very first started. I was so young. You, the, there had been Sigourney Weaver, and then there was nobody else. When you know, when I was 18, 19 years old, you didn't read a script that had, um, you know, an action movie, a big commercial movie that had a central female character who wasn't being rescued or saved or was actually, you know, driving the action. And I remember I used to be quite sort of like, they should do that. And now that they do, I feel really privileged. I'm one of the few people who gets to, you know, gets to do that. I do feel good about that. She's a, somebody who was a, a, in the police force in Miami. And um, after her partner has betrayed her terribly, she loses a lot of confidence in her judgment of people. and. Um, decides to take a job that's completely, you know, far away from everything that she's been involved in and isn't very taxing. You know, she's not really expecting to see any real service. She's, she's going to file paper clips and do inventory and, uh, and that's it. And then they find a body uh, on the ice in sort of somewhat mysterious circumstances and she has to step up and actually do her job. No, but I really thought it was going to be like that. I felt like all these American actors, and they've been grown up in LA, and I'll show them how to do the cold. And I, I couldn't even get a word out the first day I stepped out of the trailer, and my whole throat closed. Nothing like I'd ever experienced ever. Beautiful. It really was gorgeous. And, and we had a lovely time. My, my daughter came with me, my mum was there. Um, I think my mum ended up extreme tobogganing on her 60th birthday, you know, which I thought was kind of a, you know, that's, a, that's an action thing to do. You know? It was amazing, and the sunrises and sunsets were just beautiful. G Gabriel, Alex, and Columbus were, and I, were just this extremely tight group on the set because, you know, it was quite difficult, it was quite grueling, and um, we did get beaten up every day, and you really want to feel that you've got, you know, people around you who you can have a good laugh with and have your back, and, and I just got so lucky. I got the best boys ever, and uh, we've really stayed. I mean, Columbus and I have been on holiday with our families together and had Christmas together, and so they really, they're very strong relationships. And they're all really silly and funny. He was great. Well, he has a really good eye for what he wants. It's a very chaotic set, you know, with snow and all sorts of things that could go wrong. And it was great that he knew exactly visually what he was after all the time. Um, we didn't have a very, you know, we didn't have one of those relationships with actor and director where, you know, you're talking constantly about the character. I mean, because one, I was in a parker with goggles and a snow machine and wind machine. And, you know, it was a bit more of kind of, I think the director's the one in the red jacket. I'm not sure, but hi, you know and he would have a megaphone. So it wasn't as intimate as perhaps a, an independent drama would feel the relationship, but he always was incredibly good humored and, uh, and it was really nice to have him there. Totally, Joel was really the reason I, I got involved at all because Joel's enthusiasm is just, I mean, famously incredibly infectious. So he was the one that was really pumped about um, the idea of doing the very first murder in Antarctica and all of that. So he was really what got me involved in the first place. And then um, he was there in the beginning, <coughs> and then I think it got really cold, and he suddenly had to go and do something else. Um, but he called up on the phone a whole lot. No, he was great. I love Joel. I mean, not so much. I, I feel like, you know, I, I, I'm very happy if you went. I would really like to see your photographs, but um, I'd like to go to Hawaii now. <laughs>